All right, guys. I kind of wanted to do a video in the day. All my videos on this trailer were at night. So first, the first switch that is an emergency breakaway. Ugly for the strobes. So in the event of separation, the pin will activate lights, strobe lights. You can see the strobe in my other video and of course the other one behind it is a breakaway for the brakes. That box is a fuse box with actual fuses and of course very important if there's a short between the truck and the trailer or the trailer it will not affect the truck electrical system. Wires are ran. That's my wiring. And part of the brake switch. Excuse the mess on the floor. Still gonna sweep up. Little bunch of wires behind here, but they'll be tucked away. Well, it's pretty tucked right now, so it's pretty much cleaned up. That's the breakaway box. Diode, I talked about that, what it does and how it's what it's doing. That box has the module for the lights. I talked about that as well. For the lights, the strobe lights on the side. It's the battery on the box. I talked about all this. There's another diode with power going to the box, charging it, and also charging that battery. That is a solar panel. Just want to do one for the day. Uh, showing the wires. Next step is getting the wood. Those are the strobes, got three of them. Fog lights, but it's dark, believe me, you definitely appreciate. Another one, another one there. Shoes in the back, turn signal, sequential. Fog lights. Pretty much cleaned up nicely in the back. Zip ties all cut. That little box, couldn't see it at night. That's a strobe controller. So when you press the brake, your lights will flash, give you that strobe. Got to clean this up just a little bit, secure all those wires, and make sure everything's nice and tucked. All the wires are just nicely tucked. Pretty clean. I think it came out pretty well. Another light there. These ramps will be removed. Got to cut these off so we can get all the wood laid. All stainless steel bolts going in, so we're not gonna have any rust. That's it. Any questions? So I put those two pieces in front. Also that, and that covers. Can't see anything underneath. Of course, those wires. It's just hanging. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Thanks guys, any questions? Feel free to ask, thank you. All right, so continuation. 
So that black wire right there on the left is sending power through a diode. Got to tie that wire up to my battery charger. And you can see it says charging and that will maintain that battery. Now we're going to tie this main battery also into that diode so that will be sending power to that battery as needed so that battery will always be fully charged uh, and that's that kind of wanted to do one more part I still have to do the wood so this part is the control box the breakaway box that's the battery it has the battery inside I mounted it kind of out of the way out of the weather it's gonna be covered I have access from underneath I can open it uh, zip tie instead of screws uh, that diode there I explained it in my other video uh, that's for you have two powers going in and one going to the strobes when they're needed one wire is tied to that battery and the other is tied to a box here which I control and it turns on lights uh, I have the tire lights I can light those see those lights are lit all remote control uh, what I wanted to and yes of course you have the breakaway and what I like about uh, this breakaway switch uh, the first one is for strobe I explained that in my other video so this one will be an emergency light in the event of a separation the tow car truck when this is pulled I'm gonna pull it real quick sorry it's dark there it is that means there's power and see that now if I pulled it you will see light okay so that's one way of checking it there's a light so you know there's power going to your brakes and the battery's good so also what I wanted to show was this is a fuse box and I love that because it basically well it's a protector uh, I've seen a lot of guys with um, they call it a fuse box or junction box this is a fuse and actual fuses and we all know what they do and it protects your tow truck in the event of a short on the trailer you're not out with lights on the truck as well so it protects the trailer and the truck <laughs> that's that um, it's sealed by silicone bands so no water intrusion and it closes up nicely now, what I wanted to show as well, obviously the wires is tucked along nicely. Zip tie. That's a um, solar panel. Trickle charger. Charges the battery. Just basically, it would probably take uh, five days to fully charge it, so um, it's not ideal. Um, the trail will not be used that much for the battery to be drained. Uh, but if I notice it needs it, I can always overcharge it with my charger or just upgrade that. I've had that laying around, so I'll say. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about is now those two black wires, okay? The one up top, yeah, the one up top to the right is tied in to the battery you can see it right there 
okay? And that one is sending juice through a diode to my charge battery. You can see it says charging. Right there, charging, okay? And the truck is on. So the second one, the one at the bottom, you can see where it goes. Okay. It goes past and it goes into that nest of wires. But that's the power wire coming from the truck. So now we're in the diode. We have two power sources going in, merging into one. So when the truck is running, the truck is charging this battery. And from here, it's also charging that. So it's getting double fed. So that's a good thing. All right, that was pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, any questions? All right guys, so still continuing working on this trailer. So those are my strobes. A lot of wire is still hanging, still not done, fog lights, got to tighten up all these wires. I'm uh, going to have another strobe, uh, those red lights, uh, marker lights will be removed and turn signal with strobes. Now that's a strobe and turn signal, got two on the side, one there, so now what I'm working on, oh, it's so windy out here. Got a can here blowing around. So what I'm working on, this is a brake control, uh, breakaway switch. And I will have two. This particular one is being used as emergency lights, meaning the strobes will be activated when this pin is pulled. Uh, this is our setup. It's just a rough draft. Have a diode. Uh, this is the box that house, I'll have a video on that. That's the battery. So right now, everything's just a mess right now. It's just a rat nest, but it will be all cleaned up. So I'm gonna pull the pin and power is gonna travel this is strobe, that light is the strobe. And so it has two strobes set up. Uh, one is the remote control. I'll activate the remote and you will see strobes. All right guys, so I am still working on my trailer. Still gotta put the wood on, but gotta get all the wiring out of the way. And so today, or tonight, I got those off. Look at that. Beautiful. Super, super bright. All right guys, here's another progress to my trailer. These are all the lights I installed on the back end. Pretty nice, love how it came out. Those are just like the side marker lights. Red, and of course, uh, so a lot of wiring. I will show some pictures, all this gotta be cleaned up tied up nice and tight you can see how I did all that on the side I'll go over all these during the day when it's all nice and tied up but yeah she's definitely uh, looking sweet and of course all the lights down the road the running lights thank you 
All right, guys, she's almost done. There's a turn signal. She's looking good. Sequential. Gonna have two of those on there. All right, guys, so I'm still working on my trailer here. Uh, fuse box, the fuses are installed, plugged into the truck. It's rough right now, uh, it's gotta be finalized. Now, that is a converter that converts the brake and turn signal into individual uh, signals. So it's just a rough mock-up right now. All those are rewired, but like I said, it's got to be straightened out. So <clears throat> I have these lights that are sequential. You can see how they. I'm going to have two of those on the side. Probably one around there, and probably over the wheels. Going to have another one. So I like those. They're Pretty cool, bought four of them. So, pretty pretty sweet. So she's coming along. Uh, a lot of work. That black you see is uh, corrosive. I guess I missed a couple uh, spots, but that's primer. Anywhere that was rust is now sealed. So she's not gonna rust anymore. Painted nicely. After this, we do the wood. And she'll be done. So I'll keep you all posted. Bad at all. Uh, I do wish they were a little bit longer to cover a wider radius, but overall, pretty good. Uh, the edge is still pretty uh, good. We're gonna tackle this one. All right. All right, guys, wanted to uh, show this stuff, if you can see it, exo shield. And I just got done. I'm gonna do a double coat double-sided so this is what she looks like she's looking good good stuff Grab it. I wanted to do a quick walk around. A couple of people asked me about my trailer and I figured I'd just do a quick video. And of course you have all the running lights. Those lights are turn signals. 
sequential and also strobe. I'll show you the strobe, how it works. Um, there's a bed. I'll have some other videos showing before and after. This stuff is foam. I use foam. Uh, reason for that, moisture, water, I usually keep it covered when I'm not using it though, but still, water gets down and gets between the wood and that's how most of your rot occurs or starts. So I try to seal it. I do have to trim those down. I just recently did that, so. Anyways. We have lights here. Uh, tire, I don't have this thing all set up right. So tires, I'm gonna turn the tire lights on. And the reason I got it or put these on if you're on the side of the road, you have to change the tires. You have all the lights you need. And also up top, you can see the other light. That's from underneath the trailer in the front. That's where the batteries and stuff will, yeah, the breakaway and the battery. So that's a wheel lock. Safety is always good. Those caps, that's a safety as well. Makes it harder for someone to take the tire off. Uh, let's turn those off and the next one says light I think that's for the deck I think oh, okay that's for those down on the side when you're trying to back up and it's kind of hard sometimes to see everything bright light and that's two of them as you can see one there and of course up there and of course all the way around So we're going to do the deck lights now, turning these off. The deck, this tire, strobe, here's the strobe. Turn those off. And the last one I think is either deck, which is this top. Beautiful. Do have a solar panel. I don't think it does that good of a job. So Right now, the battery I have is a deep cycle marine, and just got done changing it. And this is a trickle charge that I plug in to charge and maintain the battery. I don't think solar, um, maybe that panel is just not good, maybe I need a bigger one, so whatever. But uh, what does that tag say? fog lights running lights yeah all my underneath the trailer everything is labeled oh look nice everything's labeled so it's much easier to find the problem the other light that's under here the tire there it is and of course the other side of course on the tires and the lights on this trailer, when you press the brakes, they do strobe. I should have a video of that. I might include it. If not, it's going to be another video. 
So that's that for that. My special lock. So I might actually sell these, not sure if people would be interested in them. You can also put more and more pins to protect your stuff. And the front, of course, comes off. My fuse area this is where all the fuses are. And it is a dedicated fuse holder. So if there's a problem with your lighting, it does not take out your trailer. If I can get it open, don't want to break it. I'll get back to that in a second. These are the breakaways. I have two. Now, this one is for the brake. It's written on there, brakes. And this is for light. I'm not sure why this is loose. I'm to figure this out. It should be tight. This one is tight, so I gotta tighten this one up. So, in the event that your trailer is no longer attached, shouldn't happen. I see it all the time. Well, it happens. This will be pulled and mosquito. Anyways, this will be pulled and so will this one. And what it will do, it will turn on the lights, the strobes. So instead of your truck, your trailer sitting in the dark for people to run into, once it's pulled, check the sides. And all of this is from the main battery on board. <sighs> yep, should be off. Mosquitoes are here. Yep, she's off. All right, so I'm gonna work on getting this tightened up and see why that's loose. Uh, let me see the fuses here. Let me get a. Fuses. Got to spray some uh, WD 40 or something in there. You can see a little bit of rust forming on those screws. So I'm going to do that right now. So, yeah, those are all the fuses and they're dedicated. Now, the reason for that, in the event of a short on the trailer, the fuse will be blown and the truck will not be affected in any, any way, which is a beautiful thing. So, that's why I like it. So let me spray some WD-40 on those. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.